ABC is staying on top of for you tonight. The Orioles have secured a new lease in Charm City. So this new deal could last as long as 30 years, and it caps years of negotiations to keep the team in Baltimore. We have team coverage tonight, beginning with WJZ investigator Mike Helgren. He's live at Camden Yards, and I know Mike, you spoke to the governor right after he signed that lease today. And Denise and Vic, one thing he wanted to stress is that this is a long-term deal, that the team can't just pick up and leave without some severe penalties. However, the length of this lease could be shortened if the team cannot develop parcels of land around the ballpark. The Orioles will be staying in Baltimore for at least the next 15 years and likely 30 years after the state signed a new lease agreement with the team. Baltimore, the deal is done. <laughs> The length of the term hinges on whether the O's get the necessary approvals to redevelop land around Camden Yards, an issue they have to resolve by the end of 2027, and could ultimately have the team handling maintenance of the state-run ballpark. The kind of safeguards that we needed for state leadership to be in place and, and the and Maryland State Authority to be in place are very much in place in this deal. John Angelos has expressed time and time again our commitment to utilize this iconic location to encourage and drive the next Baltimore renaissance. Uh, there's nowhere the Orioles would rather play championship baseball than here at Camden Yards. The lease also has a clause preventing relocation, allaying fears of a repeat of the Colts' infamous Mayflower move in 1984, and an issue nearby Washington, D.C. is currently grappling with after the Caps and Wizards announced a move to Virginia last week. For the moment, without the team being able to threaten to leave, that is their key extortion device, and after today, they won't have that that device for a few years, so I'm glad for that for that to happen. The negotiations for the O's deal were at times rocky, with an announcement made in September for what was originally thought to be a 30-year agreement that turned out to be non-binding. There were disagreements last week among top state lawmakers that the potential lease term was too short, and an earlier lawsuit within the Angelos family since settled contained an allegation the team could move to Nashville. That's all in the past, with the team now locked in to Camden Yards. The message that we're sending to the fans is that's what you got today. The deal is done. The O's are going to be here for generations to come. And one of the safeguards that the state has is if the Angelos family decides to sell the team, this lease agreement and any penalties would be in place for any new owners. There's also $600 million in public bonds that can now be used to renovate the ballpark. Live at Camden Yards, Mike Helgren, WJZ. Mike, thank you.